Continuing the reviews in this series, this is a review of The Amazing Spider-Man issue number 10 by Stan Lee and Steve Dicko. And it's from the original run of Spider-Man. And uh, this one has the Enforcers, new villains. Actually, the Spider-Man image here is by Jack Kirby, but the villains here are by Dicko. It was probably the worst cover from that original series. See that, just a very plain background. Well, here's what happened. The original cover by Steve Dicko here was so much better, but my guess is probably because the big man's holding a gun here, position-wise, that it was not code approved. That's just my opinion. And that this cover, the official published one, was a rush job made the last minute. It's just, again, my opinion based on uh, nothing. And the Enforcers are uh, one of those villains that never really got over. This is Ox. This is uh, Montana with the lasso and Fancy Dan and the Big Man. The most interesting character here is the Big Man. I think he had potential to be a big time crime boss and a villain that could have lasted as a mainstay. But that plotline got resolved in this one issue and uh, he never became a lasting character but the potential was there this he had aspects of being a great reoccurring villain kind of unfortunate and that, that's just a splash page what happens here is you see this new guy called the big called the big man he's planning something uh, spider-man as the story goes he wants to take over the underworld and he has his enforcers aptly named because they're like his bodyguards taking care of all these different crooks for him and he's on a crime spree Aunt May needs a blood transfusion and Peter Park has to volunteer but they don't know he's Spider-Man and this would pay off about 20 plus issues later on a classic Spider-Man story this storyline so it did have actual consequences As the storyline continues, there is something going on with Betty Brandt that she's not talking about, and the enforcers threaten her, and they don't consider Peter Parker as anything much in terms of trouble. Spider Man uh, goes into action, and this is a really cool panel. Check that out. He has a fake big spider, he's trying to get the crook to talk and squeal, and he does. So Spidey battles the Enforcers one-on-one, -on -one. or I should say uh, three-on-one. Battle continues, and Spidey escapes. Betty Brant's not talking. Something's going on. He's wondering what's going on. The Enforcer hears about Peter Parker and says he knows him. Which is kind of curious, because how does he know him? He says here, Peter Parker, how did he find out? You mean you know him, boss? Of course I know him. Don't stand here asking fool questions. Go get him. Huge knockdown drag out fight here. Uh, Spider-Man fight scene forcers. And the conclusion of the story is real interesting. Basically, Foswell, the assistant of Jonah, is the big man who was just wearing a big costume disguise. And he gets arrested, and Spider-Man and Jonah are all surpri surprised. And uh, the surprise ending uh, is that Foswell eventually becomes an undercover reporter called Patch later on. And he gets killed later in the John Romita run, and they never brought the character back. And what's really great here is the ending. You find out why Jonah hates Spider-Man. It's an aspect they would change later on. And the reason why he hates Spidey is he says he's jealous of him. And Spider-Man represents everything I'm not. He's brave, powerful, and unselfish. The truth is, I envy him. And he goes, I give everything I own to be that 
beat him in that he can never climb to his level. So all that remains for me is to try to tear him down because heaven help me, I'm jealous of him. I mean, that's just a good psychological aspect. Anyway, Spider-Man is surprised and he goes, if something, she's in trouble about Betty Brent, if only I knew what the matter was, if only she'd let me help her. And then Betty Brant here, and then she's alone, she's suffering, and she's wondering, like, the only one who could help her is Spider-Man, but she doesn't even know him. Nice ending panel type of thing. On the Spectacular Spider-Man cartoon, they did use this as an ending for an episode. And it goes, the end for now. I like that for now aspect. <laughs> Other people will use that later on as well. The next review is on Spider-Man issue 11. This is a two-part story, issue 11 and issue 12, and it continues and resolves the Betty Brant storyline and what's going on. So comment and subscribe and talk to you later.